Welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how you can create Euclidean rhythms inside the grid of Bitwig Studio. And I also gave you some kind of preset you can use. And in today's video, I want to give you a preset for generating random melodies. And it's based on my go-to method of generating notes inside the grid uh, with a sign mod, uh, which is kind of a method um, which is predictable. So you get the same melody every time you loop basically in a certain length and you can also change of course the length of this um of this melody line also change the generation kind of you can also change the scale of the melody and so on but i show you how this looks like inside the um, uh, studio so here it is it's empty and now we just load up here the random melody this one here this is how it looks like and it doesn't generate anything at the moment you have to create here at least um, a note and if you don't want to create a note here if you want to just say i want to have this running all the time then you can just hit play here and you can see it's generating here some notes and also change the length of the notes here um, maybe just add here a polysynth And just hit play yeah? maybe make the notes pretty short here yeah? and maybe add just a reverb Something like this. So you can also change the velocity of, yeah, of the general note output, more or less. You can also go in here and paint in some, some steps. If you want to do that, but you don't need to. You can reverse the melody. can change the melody you can transpose it up here and there's a note range here which basically uh, narrows down the note range and when you pull this down then you have obviously just only one note and if you increase this slowly then you get more notes up and down and then if you also in here Euclidean rhythms um, a step sequencer which plays at the moment 16 notes in a step script of 16 notes and we can boil decrease this here a bit Okay, so this is basically generating some kind of melody. And if you want to know which scale this is, you have to look into the grid. So you open this up, you go in here and you can see it's D sharp minor. So if you want to play an A minor, for instance, you have to go in here, maybe use the first note of A, maybe up to A and then select your different different scale this is a minor probably but it's pretty important that you play the first note at least the, an a so the listener knows exactly in which scale you are or you start with the dominant which is seven semitones up uh, of a uh, which is probably e um, yeah this is a, a minor now we close this down here yeah? And what you also can do is when you 
player maybe just a few beats inside the grid of six, 16 uh, steps, you can just select this device here and hit Ctrl and G and group this into a node FX layer and just duplicate this into a second layer and change some things here. So everything that comes out of this note of X layer is just pure notes. So you can also add here a diatonic transposer if you want and completely transpose this in a different scale if you want. Maybe D sharp minor. Maybe also pitch shifter here. So maybe we go up um, one, two, three, four, five, six up. So we are now in D sharp minor. So if you want to have the melody play a longer sequence, because at the moment it's just the melody sequence of one bar and it's repeating all the time, you can step into this um, melody generator here to the FX grid or to the polygrid, select the polygrid, and then you can see your device face, and it says length one bar. And you can change this to two bars. And now the face signal, which is used to generate the notes, is two bars long. And obviously, then we also have a note sequences, a note sequence of two bars. So we can do this here on all the, on all the grids. Yeah. Okay. So now we should have a note melody of two bars. Um, when we hit stop now, we can see it's it's still playing because we have this play here active. And if you don't want to have this play, then you can just disable play and use uh, one note here inside the clip. And it doesn't matter which which pitch you choose here. It's it's it, we we just use the gate signal basically here to switch the grid on and off. So we can say we just want to play a melody in this range here. It's kind of the same melody, a bit different because probably of the pulley rhythm here. Um, but you get the idea. So you can use play in a kind of a live mode and if you disable play you need to input here a note inside the clip or you need to press a key on the keyboard. You can also group this together here into a note FX layer as you just saw. Um, change here the rhythm, the beats inside the, the steps grid or maybe even change the steps. Um, change the note length if you want. Uh, you can change the melody over here. You can transpose it around. Um, you can make the sequence longer by just clicking the pulley grid here and changing the device face length. Um, you can go into the grid, change here the, um, the scale and the notes 
or the node where you start at. Um, yeah, you can basically change all this, and also you can record this to a different um, to a different track if you want. So if you kind of like the melody here, and you want to preserve this in an, in a note clip, then you go in here, basically go to tracks, fully synth, and then we maybe get the signal after the diatronics transposer here, or maybe if you want to have after the note FX layer. Um, Maybe uh, let's do this and just record it. You can see it's pretty short here, all these notes. That's because of the of the note length here. So make sure that you dial in here reasonable amount of note length. Then record it again. Then you get this here. So you can create your notes in here until it's fine and then record it into kind of an, a note clip and uh, yeah, process it further. Um, also, I want to show you um, that you don't need to put this device, the polysynth, inside the polygrid uh, like you normally do with this, all these polygrid FX or no, uh, polygrid uh, node generation devices. Um, because I just found a method of doing this pretty nicely here uh, in this manner where you have the preset in here and after the preset you just drop in your synth and then the notes come out of this preset and it's possible because I'm using a note receiver in here getting the notes from out of here right normally you had to put the poly synth into the FX box after the grid note out but I found this a bit co too complicated or yeah, not nice to, not a nice workflow. So I'm using a note receiver, receiving the notes from in here and then uh, passing the notes out of this chain device to the next device, which is the polysynth. If you want to pass through also the notes you play on the keyboard, you have to go into the chain here and just disable this input here. Now you have the notes from the note receiver getting to the polysynth and also the notes you are playing on the channel if you want to mix this up. If you don't, then just leave this enabled here. So this is a new way for me of um, creating presets at the moment. I hope we get some kind of MIDI uh, grid in the future, but for now it's, it's like that. So also the... Um, um, so Euclidean, Euclidean Rhythms Generator I created uh, on the last video and I showed you is also now in this made in this way. So all you have to do is drop in this preset here and then drop in the polysynth after this preset, paint a note, and then you get the notes out of this, right? Also possible, like uh, with the random melody generator, you can group this. So just select this here, hit uh, Control and G, duplicate this, maybe change the uh, yeah the beats. Uh, maybe go to three, and then you can also um, shift this up here to different notes. So maybe go to three here, and maybe to seven. It should be a minor chord, and um, the root fundamental or the root note then the um, minor third here and this is the minor third and the um, perfect fifth here is playing in different rhythms and you can also get kind of melodies this way We get here.
So you can create kind of nice arpeggiators with this uh, Euclidean rhythm generator here and the uh, node fx layer. And I haven't showed this in the last video because I updated this after I made the video. Also, I enabled by default inside here, uh, inside this preset on the pulley grid, I enabled the shuffle button. As you can see on the left side here, it's enabled. So when you generate the rhythms, you can just go to the play button here and enable groove and can change the shuffle and all the rhythms, yeah, uh, are changed or behave uh, in a shuffling way. So shuffling is possible also with the Euclidean rhythms and I think with a random melody generator. Um, let's see if this is actually enabled there. Um, yeah, shuffle is also enabled. Cool. So this one is also available for free. I put this onto my GitHub and also a link in my description so you can download it easily. Just drop it into Bitwig. I just showed you how it works and also try out the other uh, Euclidean rhythm generator. It's pretty nice to play around with. And also when you combine it in a FX layer, not FX layer, it's pretty nice to have. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a like if you liked the video and um, leave some questions in the comments below. If you have one, then um, I would say that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.